Today, I'm going to show you a few tricks using the eyedropper tool in Adobe Illustrator. Now, first I have this object selected and I'm going to press I on my keyboard, which is the command for the eyedropper tool in my scenario. And I'm just going to go over here and select this color. And you could see that I could select any object and the eyedropper tool will pick up the color and color my selected object. Now with the eyedropper tool selected, I can press command and that will toggle my tool to the selection tool so I can select a different object. And when I release command, it just takes me back to the eyedropper tool. So now I can color this object. Another way I can color an object is with this object selected, this would indicate the color that I want to choose. So I can hold option. And when I click this object, it's going to fill it with the color of the object selected. Now you probably know you can build color palettes using photos really easily with the eyedropper tool, but I bet you didn't know that you don't have to import those photos into Adobe Illustrator. What you can do is you can close your Adobe Illustrator window and you can see over here, I have my iPhoto app open with a photo pulled up and I wanna create a color palette from this photo. So what I'm gonna do is stay here in Adobe Illustrator with my eyedropper tool selected, I'm gonna hold option shift and I'm gonna click and drag, and I'm gonna release where the color is that I want selected. So I'm gonna start out with this light pink. I'm gonna hold Command to select this new circle. I'm gonna hold Shift Option and click and drag. And let's get kind of a brighter pink. And I'm gonna hold Command to select my new circle. I'm gonna hold Shift Option and click and drag and I can drag anywhere on my monitor and I can start to get a range of colors here so I can start to build a solid color palette. So let's say I want another color value in between these two. So what I can do is hold option with this circle selected and change that color here. And now I can go over here, hold option shift and I can go in and find that other kind of pink tone that I might want in there. That's a little bit darker, maybe in there. So now I kind of have two pinks that are similar for doing some tone on tone effects. And I can always go in and edit these colors once I choose them. But this is a good starting point. So let's say I want this color to be a little lighter. I can double click here now and make this color a little bit lighter. And let's say I wanted to pull some greens in. I want to select my eyedropper tool again, so I on the keyboard. Option shift, click and drag, and I'm gonna go start pulling some greens over here. Let's start with the darkers at the bottom and we'll work up in the scale. So I'm just gonna hold option and color that one. I'm gonna hold command to select the new circle and let's go find another green. Option shift, click and drag. Now you can see I have a blue green and kind of a yellowy green. And I'll refine these colors later, of course, but this just gives me a good starting point and lets me see kind of my color range and where I want to go with my color. That might not be different enough, but it's a bit brighter than that color. And let's try to grab a lighter green in here, maybe. Okay, maybe we need something between these two, so I'm going to Command, Option, Shift, Click and drag. Let's try to find another kind of mid-tone green in there. Maybe something more like that. Now that gives me a really nice range of colors to start with in my color palette. And like I said, I can go and refine it. But using these eyedropper tools can be quick shortcuts to getting your palettes going. I hope you've enjoyed these tips using the eyedropper tool. Make sure to like and follow and share this video with a friend that you think will love these tricks. I'm Chico and I'll see you next week with some more tips in Adobe Illustrator. And if you want to learn more about color with me, join me in Color Camp this July. It's a comprehensive color course that's going to increase your color confidence by bounds. I can't wait to see you there.